So we're trying something different today. We're splitting up. <laughs> I want to go to the Musical Instrument Museum, MIM, here in Phoenix. And I think Caleb would enjoy it also, but I know Carly would not. So we're doing Divide and Conquer. I'm, really I'm going to set out in search of clean clothes. I've heard of such things. I'm getting like a little miniature vacation on our vacation. I'm going to go to Min. And they're going to go to the laundromat and do laundry and let me look around at the instruments. Like, just without, without kids. Oh, I should have explained. Cheyenne's asleep right now. Oh, yeah. So that's one of the reasons we're being so quiet and you hear the sounds of the Grand Canyon in the background. Yeah. Anyway. That's why you hear the crickets chirping in the truck. This place looks enormous. So I'm going to try to explain what it's like to visit MIM. MIM is kind of like an art gallery in one way, and it's like a history museum in another. You're given these really cool headsets. You get to listen to the instruments as you pass from exhibit to exhibit. They flawlessly sync up with TV monitors in each exhibit, and you can listen to the instruments being played and watch them be played, usually in a concert setting or maybe on a documentary. It's little clips, maybe a minute long each, and it'll go through several instruments per display. It's well worth your time to stop and watch these and listen. You will learn so much and experience the museum in a much deeper way if you take the time. I was super impressed with how well the Bluetooth synced up with everything. It was never staticky. As you walked into each exhibit, it would slowly, the volume would fade up, and then as you left, it would slowly fade out, and then sync up with another, and then slowly take you into that country's music. So not only are you getting to read the little plaques and informational bits about these instruments and learning all sorts of amazing facts, you're getting to listen to them too, and you're getting to see them. Honestly, at the end of two hours, my brain was like overloaded. It was really, really special. I loved it. I like music. I play the guitar. I play native flute. But you definitely don't have to be a musician to appreciate the instruments here. I want to kind of give you a taste of what it's like to visit Mim. So enjoy this little montage as I'll bring in some different music. Take it out and put it on the next. It'll be as if you're walking through the museum.
this whole area is hands-on, where you can play with the instruments. Mim was awesome. I, um, I, I'm overloaded, I think, with music and history and artifacts and just so, so much. Uh, Caleb and the girls are back. I, I think I actually like, act, like missed two of the rooms. It was just, how'd y'all's time go? Hey, how you doing? Hey, good. Thank you.